Today, I'll be showing you how to make the ultimate chicken pot pie. This classic dish contains the most incredible filling with a rich and delicious white sauce that makes it the perfect comfort food for any time of the year. You'll need some chicken and other proteins, vegetables of choice, some pantry staples, chicken stock, and some pie crust to make this. Welcome back, my name is Daniel, a home cook who's passionate about food, here to show you simplified recipes that are easy to follow using common ingredients. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more delicious recipes that your friends and family will love. Now let's get started on this chicken pot pie. For my version, I'm using one cup of chicken that's three deboned drumsticks, four slices of bacon, one diced hard boiled egg, one cup of sliced mushrooms, half a cup of frozen or fresh green peas and diced carrots, one small onion or two thirds of a cup, and two cloves of minced garlic. You'll want to marinate your chicken by adding in half a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of black pepper, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of cornstarch, and stir that all together. You can certainly use chicken thighs or breast here, just make sure to take the skin off. Also, add in one tablespoon of vegetable oil and stir it in to coat the chicken well. Again, this is about one cup of chicken that's been diced. Now set that aside. For the white sauce, we'll be using a third of a cup of flour, two tablespoons of butter, one cup of chicken broth, two tablespoons of milk, and salt to taste. Turn your stove on to medium high heat and put the butter into the saucepan, allowing it to melt. It shouldn't take long at all. Remember to reduce the heat if it gets too hot while making the sauce. Then, pour in your flour gradually while constantly stirring to make the roux. This is to cook out that raw flour taste. The more flour you add in, the thicker it will be. Just continue to stir until all the flour is mixed into the butter. As you can see, this sauce has a very high flour to butter ratio. So you'll need to add in some of the chicken stock to hydrate it and make it easier to stir. Always add in the stock gradually to avoid lumps as much as you can. Continue to alternate between pouring in the stock and stirring until it is well combined. Once it has reached a thick consistency like this, add the milk in and stir, while trying to break up any lumps. Remember to season the sauce to taste. I used about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt here. Stir that in and set it aside while we make our filling. Preheat the oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Then add one tablespoon of oil to a pan and over medium high heat, fry the bacon first. I diced them into bite-sized pieces beforehand here but you can also fry them as strips and fish them out once cooked to dice them after if you prefer. Just remember to throw them back into the pan. Once the bacon is cooked, put in your minced garlic. And remember, garlic burns quickly, so keep an eye on it. This shouldn't take more than 45 seconds to a minute. Continue to stir by tilting the pan and infusing all that flavor in until the garlic is turning a very light golden color. Next, add in your diced onion and toss it all together. If you are using fresh carrots, also add them in at this point. We are not trying to caramelize the onions here, we're just softening them up so they will become translucent. After another minute, your chicken goes in and toss it well with the other ingredients. We are not going to cook the chicken all the way through because it will continue to cook in the oven later. This is especially important if you're using white meat such as chicken breast, so it doesn't get overcooked, dry, and rubbery. This is also why I prefer using dark meat in this recipe, because it has really great flavor and tenderness. Once it has just turned white on the outside, which is about half cooked, you can put in the mushrooms. Again, just give this a quick toss. No more than a minute is needed. We're just heating it through and mixing it in. Then stir in the frozen peas and carrots. If you are using fresh carrots, put them in when you added in the onion earlier, like I mentioned before. Give this a quick toss and add in the hard boiled egg. At the same time, give the white sauce a good stir to loosen it up and pour it all over the filling.
Gently toss this all together until it is well combined, being careful not to mush the egg, which is quite delicate. If you're going to be using a bottom pie crust, remove the filling from heat to let it cool for several minutes. Now pour the filling into three containers or one big pie dish with or without a bottom crust. Either way, you'll want to let this filling cool for at least 5 to 10 minutes before placing the top pie crust over it. I'm using frozen pie crust today, but feel free to make your own. Remember to score the top of the pie crust with a fork or knife to let the steam escape and brush the tops with the beaten egg yolk which will give the pies a beautiful golden brown color while it bakes. Now bake the pies at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for between 30 to 35 minutes. If you are making one large pie, it may take up to 40 to 45 minutes, especially if there's a bottom crust. You'll know it's done when the tops have turned a nice golden brown color like you see here. Just let it rest for at least 5 to 10 minutes to let the filling set before digging in. And there you have it, the ultimate chicken pot pie. It's the definition of comfort food, and it's a popular classic for good reason. I guarantee you, this will be a huge hit with your friends and family. I hope you enjoy. All right guys, it's time for the taste test. I'm really excited about this one. Chicken, nice big bite with the chicken and the crust and some veggies. Here we go. is ultimate comfort food. Oh man. Got the peas and the carrots, all those flavors in there, so rich, so delicious. Mm. And it works so well with the pie crust on top. This is absolutely stunning. This is like the ultimate comfort food. Honestly, you can put whatever ingredients you want into your chicken pot pie. My list was just a suggestion, but there's bacon, there's mushrooms, there's egg in here, which isn't very traditional, but there's a lot of additional ingredients in here that really take this chicken pot pie to the ultimate level. You won't be disappointed. There's so much flavor in here. But of course, you want to put more chicken in it, and you want to leave out the egg, you can go ahead and do that. And you can make it in a nice, large, big pie as well. You don't have to make it into individual servings, but it's going to be fantastic either way. And your friends and family are going to absolutely love this one. So definitely try this one out. It's so delicious. And as always, if you like this recipe, remember to give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you like to put into your chicken pot pie. And remember to hit subscribe and the notification button for more delicious and easy recipes. I will see everyone soon. Till next time. Bye everyone.